Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Omar Sy versus Da Woon Jung. 10-0 uh, for Omar Sy, minus 450 favorite at 28 years old. Uh, it's at 6'4", at 6'4", 83 inch reach. Da Woon Jung, 15-5-1, and 2-3 and in his last five fights. He's 0-3 in his last three, and if I'm correct, they're all, two of them are by finish, one of them by decision by Devin Clark, which is absolutely disgusting. Devin Clark is just a bad fighter. Plus 350 underdog, 6'4", 78 and a half inch reach. What is that? Uh, two and a half, yeah, two and a half inch. Nope, nope, nope. Four would be at 78. So it's a three and a half inch. Oh, that'd be Jesus Christ, that'd be 72. So it's four and a half inch reach advantage for Omar Sai. And with Omar Sai being the grappler that he is, fighting uh, Turco Turcos, who's actually fighting Navajo Sterling um, in his next matchup, weird fight there. But Omar Sai and Da Woon Chung, this is a very interesting fight to me because. Even though Da Woon Jung is very, very bad as of late, you know, now he'll be 31 December 18th. He has 13 finishes, been finished three times, and two of his last three have been finishes. He has fought good opponents, got destroyed by Dustin Jacoby, lost a weird fight against Devin Clark, made Carlos Oberg look human, which is wild to me. Carlos Oberg looked really, really bad in that fight and did get rid of a choke at the end. But again, he kind of his stock dropped a little bit for me in that fight because Dong Wu Chung is just so bad. But he did beat Kennedy and Zekachu in the first, which Kennedy is not good in the first. Beat William Knight, who's very bad. Lost a split to sit or has a, was a split draw to Sam Alvey, where I actually thought Sam Alvey won the last two rounds. And, you know, he's beaten some decent guys, some decent fighters in the UFC. But fighting the guy like Omar Sai, who is He's a very, very good wrestler. That's what it is. Eight finishes, two decisions. Runic had choked to Turco Turcos in his last fight in the first round. You know, he beat a very, he beat, I believe, a UFC veteran in Aldemir Alcantara. Alcantara. Jesus. Alcantara. So he is a finisher, even though he is a very, very good grappler at that. I do think Jung has some decent takedown defense. I think the first round is going to be very, very telling how this fight's going to go. The problem with it, I just think Omar is going to kind of be able to bully Daun Jung. He's going to be able to get him against that cage. And I think as soon as he gets him against that cage, it's going to be lights out. It's going to be time time's up. And I think once he gets Jung down to the ground, it's going to be over. Now, do I think he... Uh, finishes them. I don't think he finishes them in round number one. I actually think Omar, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. He has seven first round finishes and one in the second. So he actually tends to finish fighters or really go to a decision. I know he has one third, second round finish, but you know, not really. He has one out of his eight finishes. So seven first round finishes. So expect Omar side to come out wild in that first round trying to finish him. But I actually think he gets a second or third round finish, probably submission or some ground upon if he get a good position on Jung. I think once he gets Jung down to the ground, it's going to be, I don't think Jung's going to be springing back to his feet. So I like Omar Sai. I actually think a second or third round finish. Let me know what your guys' opinion is on this matchup, on this fight. If you agree with it, if you disagree with it. Whoever wins, which is probably Omar Sai, but if Omar Sai wins, who do you want to see him fight next? If Dong Lun Jung wins, who do you want to see him fight? Should he be released from the UFC? If anything, let me know what you guys' opinion is. I appreciate all the support. You guys are incredible. As always, peace.